Of course not. He wouldn't do those things with you. He couldn't. You. Really are you? You really are in love with him, aren't you? Don't try to make this about me. This is about you and how you will soon cease to have any dealings whatsoever with Hiro. But I can't do it. You can and will do that. This is not a request, Mickey. I'm telling you. I'm telling you to break off all the relations, relations with Hiro by this time tomorrow. If I find that you haven't done so, I'll go straight to Hiro's superiors. You see, Mickey, it really is time for you to take the next step. It's just that the next step is for you to bring this whole thing to a very abrupt end. Because if you don't, I will. There was no need for Reika to continue. I was cornered and she knew it. She turned and let me with and she turned and left me without another word. But her accusation lingered long after she was gone. They followed me, in fact, all the way home, echoing in my head, challenging me to refute them, daring me to mount any defense at all. What trouble? What troubled me most was not her parting threat. It was something she said earlier. You are bad for Hiro. Was she right about that? Was my desire to be with, with Hiro blinding me, to, blinding me to the fact that what I was doing was selfish and wrong? For the, for the rest of the day, I wrestled with Reika's arguments and found, and found to, my dis, to my dismay that they only grew stronger over time, more indisputable in her absence. That evening, as I sat alone in my bedroom, staring out the window at the, sky, at the darkening sky, I made my decision. The next morning, I called Hiro and told him I needed to see him as soon as possible. We arranged to meet in the village of Tomo, where I found him near the seashore, engrossed in his work. Hi, Mickey. I wish there was more for you to see today. But both of these targets are cautious to a fault. Getting them to even talk to each other was like pulling teeth. Look how far he's sitting from her. A minute ago, they were close enough for an arm around the shoulder, but now... Hiro, I know this is not the right time for or place, but I have to do this now while, while I still have the courage. Courage? Courage to do what? I I can't I can't see you anymore, Hiro. I've thought it over, very carefully, and I've decided it would be, it would be better for both of us if we went out if we went our separate ways. Look, Miki. If this is about you, me, and Akatsu, it's not Hiro. It has nothing to do with that. It's just that you can't be with me. You are supposed to be with one of your kind. With someone like Reika. Someone you are allowed to be with. If I'm wrong about that, just say so. But if I'm right, then you've got to stop seeing me. For your own good. Hiro said nothing for a very long time. How would he react? What would he say? I imagined so many different ways the conversation might go. Every possible path it could go down, all of them but the one hero chose. I accept your decision. I will do as you say. 
and make no effort to contact you ever again. You should go now, quickly, and without hesitation. But Hiro, trust me, Miki, nothing good comes of drawing these things out. I've witnessed a thousand times. The shouting matches, the pointless pleading, the endless maneuvers and the compromises people make all in the name of keeping something alive. Something that they themselves are slowly strangling to death. And every time I saw it happen, I swore that if I ever found myself in such circumstances, I would have the strength to do it the right way. I restrain my emotions and allow things to end sensibly, with, with dignity, grace, and above all, speed. You've made a wise decision, Miki. The least I can do is to have the wisdom to accept it, and the compassion to give you the benefit of, of my experience in these matters. Now go, turn away from me, and don't look back. Not now, not ever. Goodbye, Hiro.